Okay, Max Sand period action from the Jingle Bell Skate Tournament in Marlboro. The 1 1 tie between the Providence J.R. Friars and the Watertown Red Wings. Watertown breaks huddle. Providence player eating in the box for that late hit on Liam Murphy. So we're going to see some 4 on 4 action for a minute and 13 and then a Watertown power play. The brief one. There's that light flashing. Like I talked about. 4 on 4 Tompkins takes it off the draw. He will charge in. Taken down. Puck will get her to the corner. Tompkins trying to touch it back for Kennerson. That does not go. Providence will control. Get a look at Tyler Palmer, who is very active in the goal crease. We'll see him moving around quite a lot. Almost looks like lightning flashes here at the rink number three at the New England Sports Center. Once again, I do apologize. It is distracting. Murphy will track back for the puck. This is Liam Murphy. He had a good rush earlier to set up a goal. He got the third assist on that one. It was Tompkins' goal. Murphy will cut outside. There's Murphy around one. Murphy around two. He, had a puck. he lost a puck. It's in on goal. And now it's going to be covered by Moores. After you know where it was for a second. Another good rush by Liam Murphy. That's what happens on those rushes. You get more confidence and you want to do more often. And more town. Kennerson, Burke, even Smutty, they can all rush the puck off ice. Very strong back end for the wings. Pacione swung and missed on his one timer in the slot. It'll be cleared to center and in the offensive zone by the Friar. Smutney out in front of his own cage. That's always a dangerous play. He executed it well though and got it out to center. Only to be dumped back in by Providence. Burke will pick it up around his own goal. Under some pressure now and he goes into the wall hard. Watertown has a power play for five seconds. And we'll be back to five aside now. Smiting. He goes around one. He goes across the blue and then the red. There comes Smutney, ooh, he went down hard after a Providence player went sliding on the ice in front of him. Puck comes back, ooh, intercepted by Pacione, thrown in the corner, nearly turned over in the slot. That would have been a made for good opportunity. Comes back to Burke, couldn't control it. Hitchcock slides over and keeps it in. Money couldn't control it as the line out to center will come. Hitchcock. His team has carried the play here in the second. Only three minutes have gone by. So that doesn't say too, too much. It's a pretty even first. Down goes Patchy Ownhard. Puck goes in deep. Providence will control out of the corner. They get it out to center. Kevinson will flip it in off the wall and in. And on a side play. Off the wall by Providence. They can't get it out. Now they will on the second attempt. Once again, coming back for Kennerson. Kennerson looking for Gordon off the wall. That doesn't go. Actually, it on in. By Providence. They'll control in the corner. This is Johan. Looks out in front. His pass picked off by Kennerson. Couldn't control it. Lupo will circle back and said. His pass missed Murphy. Providence still control. Thrown in front of the goal. And Kennerson is up. Oh! Henderson just threw it off. I think that was Hitchcock or Murphy's knee pad and nearly in the goal. Close call there. Providence would have taken the lead 2-1. Murphy tried to dance his way through. He can't. Providence good. Push back. Well saved by Palmer on a high shot. So the hand tucked in. That's why the puck is loose. Murphy in deep. Hands it on ahead. KB Gordon. Call him Q. Uh, Watertown will get it out eventually after a few packs. Both chipped right back in by Providence. This is Murphy. Murphy waiting up the wall, but not out. Good pressure here from Providence. Kennison. He'll 
attempt to skate it out, he will. Kenderson, he's still going. Kenderson cutting inside. Kenderson in the corner, his short angle shot. Stop with the pad, and Providence comes the other way. Mohal will take Kenderson's place as the defender. Here comes the shot, score! What a goal! Alexander Kenderson got up in the play. Meanwhile, he left Murphy and Mohal to defend, and a roof, an absolutely spectacular shot, gives Providence their first lead of the hockey game at 2-1, 7.33 to go. Wow, that was an end-to-end -end rush. Beautiful. The shot was really the impressive part. Throwing it in the corner by Smutney off the draw. Or County to push back shift of their own here. Maybe not. Providence coming up the left wing side with some speed in the offensive zone. Burke covers his man well, chips it back ahead, but not out. Slid towards the goal. Smutney went down hard after chipping it ahead onto the stick of Tompkins. Tompkins will dump it in. He'll go, or Mohal rather, will give chase in the corner. Mohal down below the goal, lost it. These Friars, they play a heavy game too. High slot, Tompkins just couldn't pull the trigger. Here comes Providence the other way. Slutney stretched his man of the puck and will... He won't take it in, sorry. It got poked off his stick. Back for Burke. Burke ahead and in, not too far. Chipped back out by Providence. Burke will try to ping pong it the other way. That gets blocked. Right in the slot, another shot. Yeah, blocked by Smutney. It's always helpful if you block shots on your goalie. Less shots, the better, I do suppose. So well, some goalies will beg to differ, I'm sure. The hardest game for a goalie are the shots. Or too many shots and no shots. This one right out in front. What stopped by Palmer as a pad with all the traffic in front. Mohal is getting roughed up, spins around his man, he can't get it out. Now it's off to take a burp in into the territory. Robin's coming back the other way, they're slowly dialing up the pressure as time ticks away here in the second. Money under pressure, turns it over. And that's gone back to the point. Here comes a shot, tipped just wide off the stick of Kenderson, or Tompkins rather. Now chipped to the goal and Palmer got that. Mohal, under some pressure, lost it to the goal. It's a redirection of Smutney's stick in on Palmer, who flies to make the save. And finally, the Red Wings can take a breath. Good shift by the Friars. Friars control on a tie-up. In deep, Kenderson. With the hard pressure, avoids the check and takes it. And his man goes into the wall very hard. H can't get the puck out. Great pressure here from Providence. Kenderson again in that same spot covered by Garno. And he lost it to him. Here's Garno centering the puck. That pass just missed. Held in though. To the goal, shot blocked by Murphy. Comes back for Murphy now. There's Murphy up the wall, not out. Comes back for Kenerson. He's got a clear, but he iced the puck. And that's going to do no good. Icing, water champ. Just looking in Tyler Palmer's eyes there. He had sent a little bit of frustration after the wings. His teammates have been pent up in their own end for a while. Kenneth at times to take matters in his own hand and skate it. Not in the offense of his own. Stopped up at the line and Providence is the other way. Hitchcock though will strip his man of the puck, cut in the back for Murphy off the wall for Hitchcock. Hitchcock for Leach. Just couldn't control it. Comes back for Kenerson. For big Nick Bristol. Here he comes, marching right into the slot, curving outside. Here's Bristol to the goal, just missed wide. 
Hoffman on behind it. Around the U, but not out. Kevinson holds it in. Chips it back towards the half wall. That doesn't go. And a nice lead pass out to center. This is a three on one. Slutney the only guy back. Outside, inside, shot. It got blocked by Slutney. He played that three on one like a pro. Good job. Shot towards the goal. Stopped by Palmer. Puck is loose. It comes free for Leach. A Providence player down in the ice. And the whistle will now blow. Couldn't see exactly what happened. The players will take a knee. The left was the player that went down. You can see it casually. Partially because of the big obstruction, but the most important obstruction in the game. But that. Matter of fact, that's really the only obstruction on the ice. <laughs> Besides the players, of course, who are back in action now. He's got back for Burke. Here's David Burke under some more pressure. And. Friars are really turning it on now. Here with three to go in second. They hold the puck in again. It comes back for Tompkins. He maneuvers his way through one and gets it out to center. Here's Tompkins lost it at the line. And they still battle away for it. The puck just comes free at center for Burke. This is Burke off the wall and in. Regroup by Providence right up the center of the ice. In, but uh, not in. Offside for Providence. 2.49 to go in period two. <laughs> Tompkins tied his man up over the draw, couldn't win it. Uh, eventually comes to Gordon. Gordon couldn't control it. Uh, you're really becoming a game of battles now. Puck battles especially. Here comes Tompkins. Tompkins waiting. Shooting one. Save it. Rebound. It was there. And I believe it got blocked off the stick of Pacione. Burke in deep. Not far enough. Cycled all the way out and down the ice. For I think I thought I saw. I thought I saw the, the hand was up. No. Providence controls in the offensive zone. Here comes a shot, he gets blocked. I for sure thought that was nice. I do apologize. Catch your own taken in deep. Big punch battle over there on the half wall. Checked back into the corner by Watertown and a checking penalty coming up. Ray Tompkins is going to head to the penalty box, or... Yeah, it's going to be Tompkins is going to go for a late hit. Nope, is it? Yep. It is going to be Tompkins. But it has been a physical, physical game. And that's what happens to players, you know. They get the physicality part of it. And then they, they sometimes take it just a step too far. Off the draw into the slot. Murphy back ahead but not out. Comes back for Kennison. He avoids his man and chips it to set. No further. Providence controls. They'll come in on the right side. Here comes a shot to fly the palm of glove man. Lupo. Mohal and out. In the offensive zone. Lupo eventually wound up with a puck. This is Mohal on the side. Oh, Spinnerama and just couldn't nail the backhand on target. That would have been pretty. Back the other way comes Providence. Kenderson stepping up the line and forces an offside. With Friars. It's a cold one today, Marlboro, inside and out. Finally, this December is starting to cool off. And the corner spun on in front. 
Fox takes off by Smutney. He threw it back to the corner. Fox takes some hops out in front of the ball. Watertown can't clear. Check comes through. Gets through directed wide. Smutney in front. Blocked by Burke. Battle in front of us. Burke and Grismon do both go down. Play to the goal. Swing and a whiff by Smutney. Luckily, no touches for Providence. So that might have ended in the back of the net. So. Foxino in front. The shot just got chipped wide. Back into the corner. Seven seconds to go in the power play and 18 to go in the Move period. Burke finds it. Can't get the puck out. Burke goes falling on the ice. Get up, get up. A lot of work down low. Center and pass just went through the legs of the intended target. Four seconds going the period of the power play over. Two seconds and then one. Last shot by Tompkins is no good. The Friars get one and lead it 2-1 as we head to the third period of action. It should be a good one coming up.